Alright, and front and field, maybe she can tell my 12. But you know what I mean? Hey guys, um, let's do a quick summary of what we did last week and then feel free to stop me at any time. What we covered, did you get a chance to look at the stuff from last week? I did, yeah. Okay, awesome. So, a quick reminder remember, we had the oh, I hope it works. Amazing. We had the P, T, Ne, which was more of a copula, ah, some sort of a soft verb to be. Um, if you say, um, U -sa -pe, it means he is a teacher. And if you want to say, um, and if you say, oh, sorry, and if you say, from me, from me, pe, and then you say, that means he is that man. And you can say, pa, yot, pe, pensach, that means our father, my father is our teacher. And if you don't say he's just a teacher, you just say, pa, yot. Pa, yot, usach, pe. That means my father is a teacher, and we can see here that P always has to follow an indefinite article. It always has to come after. Um, that's it. And then I think one more thing. We did the demonstrative pronouns, which are phi, psi, and nai. Just means this, uh, but not followed by a noun. So you, you want to say, this is the way rather than this man. This man would be pi. And if you remember, this is a pa coming from pi, this is coming from tai, this is coming from nai. So if you actually translate, this would be a pi, and this would be a p-h-y. This is a tai, sorry, tai, this is a t-h-i, and a nai. I don't know, any h, I don't know if it means anything. Uh, but it's the same. There's no H, that's for confusion. Uh, that's what we covered last week. Any more questions about this? All right, let's dive, dive right in. Uh, there's three of us I can share with you. Uh, so let's just do four each and go from there. And uh, we have it alphabetically, which makes it easy. Ben, do you want to start with the first five, uh, four? Let's do five. Sure, I am already forgetting the first uh, word, unfortunately. So maybe someone else should do. That's fine. Although I, I can, uh, up to you guys. Yeah, Voki would be a uh, servant or slave. Okay, great. So it's the Sahih for him. Okay, so they're completely different roots and yes. different dialects. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, cool. So, um, Uvoki te ente tamau. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, see a servant or that servant no wait hold up a servant who is it's a tricky one take your time who uh, belongs to or is of so let me give you a hint this is a full sentence okay so the servant belongs to and let me give you another hint. It sure. doesn't start with oh, a servant or oh, she, she is a servant. Yes. Belongs to that belongs to that wo woman over there. Or uh, no, that woman. It's, it's mother. Oh, the mother. Okay. I was confusing it with um with etmau, which is spelled differently, right? So Yes. Uh okay. etmau would look like like this. Etmau, right. Okay, so she is a servant of the mother. Uh, what 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 is this? Oh, of um, my mother. Yes, she so, is my mother's servant. Is uh, yes, yes, exactly. So you can say she is a servant, or it's a servant in Coptic. It's the same. Okay, so let's do so. Great. That's what you said. So let's say she is a servant. And then I'll just say of my and then my mom. Okay, nice. Next one. Great. So um, it is a fish. Yes, it's a fish. 
Yes. Um, and uh, okay. fish. Uh, let's see, and it, uh, he is a teacher of of your brother. Yes. Good job. Okay. So he is a teacher of your brother. I always right. have to think twice with son versus the English word son, because um, it's a completely <laughs> different language. So yes. It always throws me off for some reason. So, All right. Give me um, one, your own last one. Sure. Sorry. Uh, so, uh, upartenos te. Mm -hmm. so, upartenos te. So, um, uh, she is a uh, virgin or a maiden? Yes. she's uh... Or a girl. I don't know if. Um, I think if it, by the time it came to Coptic, it, I'm gonna guess it just means virgin, just because it's okay. overwhelmingly Christian, and the idea right. of a vir virginity is so apparent. So, right, you probably would want to make that very clear. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, awesome. All right, David, do you wanna do take the next one? Yep. Han web ne, they. There's some uh, priests. Yes. There. Some. Priests. Hmm. Sherry and Intasoni today. He is the son of my sister. Yes. Okay. To share the Hamshe Te. She is the daughter of the carpenter. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, she is the mother of our savior. Okay, uh, let me just do the next two. P. Jamul P. Empefiot. It is the camel of. His father. Um, it's the and a funny word about the word Jamul. It's very similar to actually how we'd have it in Arabic, uh, which is Jamal. So in, in Coptic it's Jamul. Not sure if there's a, if there's a relation there. I wonder if we'll look I at it. I actually think that Jamul is actually a, a Semitic loan word. That makes sense because in Arabic just Jamal. Mm. Yeah, I think the uh, the Hebrew letter Gimel is named after um, the uh, shape of a camel at some point. I forget where I heard that, but I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. Possibly. I mean, in hieroglyphs, a lot of words just came from what they sound like. Uh, all right. In Ujoy Anpe. Uh, so N, and we have the Un. So it is not a boat or a ship. All right, back to you, Ben. The next four. Uh, okay. Again, also full sentences. Great. Um, so, uh, Enu Drom Anpe. Mm -hmm. um, so, it is not a book, or mm -hmm. I'm forgetting the noun. But book is good. Book, is it book? Oh, okay, cool. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, uh, Unovipe. Um, it is not a sin, or no, it is a sin because the, yes. the N is a negation. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. N and on. So on is the main one. N O on. N okay. comes after if, because we have an indefinite and optionally if it's a definite. Okay. So on uh, is always there in either case. On, on but... is essential. And you're going to see that in the, when we do the first present construction, you always need on an option, you add N, like 
it's just like it's an, an indefinite um, yeah. okay great uh cool and then and Udois Anpe, mm -hmm. um, he is not a lord, or he is not a master, or mm -hmm. something like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then Mpene Anpe, uh, this, so, oh, it is, uh, it is not our house. Yes. All right, all right, David. Take the next five, next two. Hansachne, uh, they are there to some teachers. Ni en tole ne em penchois. Can you help me out with uh, in Tole? Tole is commandments or commandments. commandments. They are the commandments of our Lord. Though I remember it as a, it sounds like epistoli, but I know it's not epistle, so it's the other thing. It's commandment. For some reason, that's just how I remember it. All right, uh, give me two more. All right. I say to John M. Penchois, this is the ship of our Lord, or this is the, the book of our Lord. Uh, this is what? This is what? This is the... This is the ship of our Lord? Yeah. No. Uh, ship is joy. Joy? Is it a uh, book? No. Book is joom. Power. Power, yes. Uh, the way I remember it is, well, joy is joy. Um, so this is power. This is just power. I know there's two. So, so jump, you know, from from Holy Week. Mm -hmm. But then the other one. So if I so I know one of them is book, and one of them is is power. The way I know for the other book is the Omega. Looks like an open book. And that's how I know this one is the book one. And the nice. so the it's other one honor. is is the power. So it just looks like an open book. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the power of of whom? Of our Lord. Our Lord. Our Lord. All right. Uh, next one. Pai and Pesai and Anpe. These are not. Mm -hmm. Quite well, easy, easy. Or this is not uh, her husband. This is not her husband. Um, do it a little bit more slowly and literally, just so we make sure we deconstruct it right. Like the meaning he said is, is correct, hundred percent. Okay. Let's do it step by step. Step by step, or or more like deconstruct every Coptic construction alone, so it's more clear. Okay. <clears throat> um, I, uh, masculine. Uh, forget the name; it's called, but it means this. Mm -hmm. Um, M, M no, is no, really. I mean, there are basically two phrases, or basically two and a half phrases coming together. So it is, so phi is one thing and the rest is another thing. Okay. He, her, so her husband? Trans, yeah, translate without phi. So uh, he is, he's, yes, right. he is not her husband. 
Yes. And then when you add five, you can, this, he's not her husband. Okay. If you want to say this is, so let's just do in not a negation. If you want to say this is her husband, you would say five pay plus high. And then if you want to do it, you don't say this is not her husband, you would say phi, I believe it would be phi and pay plus high. But if you want to say phi, in plus high and pay, this, he's not her husband. This is what I'm trying to get to. Okay. Oh, so there's a little bit of emphasis and, and pointing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next one, same idea. You want me to do the next one? Have I already done four? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we finished four. Okay. Ben, go ahead. Okay. Um, Uchamul Pepai. Mm -hmm. So um, this is not a camel. Or mm, you would need no way. This All is right. not a camel. Uh, you would need an on to have. Uh, oh, issue. this is a camel. Got it. Okay. Got it. Cool. So this is a camel. And if literally, it's a camel. This is. Or... No. Yes. So if you want to say this is a camel, you would say phi ujamul pe. Okay. But so this the is phi a would camel. be first. So a cam So you can say a camel is this. Okay. A camel is this, which yes. in meaning, would this be a sentence that someone would actually say? Uh, Coptic doesn't have, uh, I've noticed like, we're actually going to do a lot a lot of this today more with interrogation. It doesn't yeah. have the solid construction the way we have it in English, where you have to say, this is a camel. It, it plays freely with the words. And I'm okay. going to guess there was no grammar books. So they can just say a camel is this. So right. it's like, what is this? You can say a camel is this. There's a bit of nuance in the meaning. They they mean the same thing. Okay. Uh, but, but there's a slight difference yeah. of where the what the demonstrative is placed, like yes. Um so it probably depends on context and it can change exactly. depending on the context around it. Yeah, so you can say a camel is this. So it depends on what you're emphasizing. Um, okay. That's the nice thing about yeah, it it's it's fully fine in Coptic do stuff like that. Uh you're gonna see when you get to interrogation, you, you can say who is this. And you can say this is who, which is what you would say as spoken English, but you probably wouldn't you wouldn't write it down. Right. Uh, you can say this is who. I uh, guess it's kind of tricky just going between uh, English, where there's a very strict word order, yeah. unless you're using poetry or yes. uh, reading poetry, and Coptic, yeah. where it makes the word order is still pretty strict, mm -hmm. but it's looser than English, but not as loose as like Latin or something. Uh, so. Like. Also, like there is the concept of like spoken English and like written English. Um, right. In Coptic, there was no this distinction. You just write what you say because there was no like academic. There's no Oxford dictionary that would okay. tell people what to say. Um, cool. So it's a little bit free with with the word usage. Well, it's and, kind of nice in the sense. Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's kind of in the sense that you speak your mind, and exactly. then the that comes out. And then the, we're uh, when we can actually read. Full, uh, t Coptic text were reading how people would have spoken back then, which is pretty cool. Exactly. So. Yes, which is the very nice thing we have about Coptic is you actually know exactly what they meant and how they spoke. That's really cool. It's also yeah. nice because it uh, preserves the dialects because, yeah. you know, in English, I'd say probably not so much of a problem now. In English, when, uh, when it was modernized, you wouldn't be able to distinguish any dialects. Not very readily, right. not unless right. it was spoken about. And I think that was yeah. kind of the issue with um, hieroglyphic Egyptian. I read somewhere, I can't think where I read, that it might have been that whatever the major dynastic dialect was is essentially the way they wrote it. Right. That could have that could have been it, mm -hmm. but it was not as many free. Uh, freely seen dialects, as far as I'm aware. Right. That, that's yeah. my understanding of that. Is it has something to do with the fact that the vowels were never really explicitly written in hieroglyphs. It's always kind of ambiguous. 
And so Coptic, by including the vowels and the different, they're all of a sudden, there are all these uh, variations in speech that are present, which were probably there to begin with, but hieroglyphs were obscuring yeah. that fact through conservative scribal traditions and also not writing vowels. So it's really cool. So I didn't mean to get us off track, I just thought. It's okay. With that. It's so, okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Give us Great. the next one when you're ready. Sure. Um, we are, okay. Nine. Uh, um, Nine Nisaji MP Elongelion. So, uh, let's see, Saji. Hmm. Okay, I know Elongelion is gospel. Okay. And I think it's plural, so it's the gospels. Let's see. Why just, is it plural? Uh, oh, never mind. It's just one gospel because it has P in front of it. Yes. I was thinking that. Um, uh, M was never mind. Okay, so let's see, these are, are let's see, these are the Isaji, the some things of the gospel. Uh, Saji, the most common okay. meaning for it would be words. Words, okay. Okay, so these are the words of the gospel. Yes. Okay. So in the hieroglyphs, that the a lot of those words are uh, for, there's a word for speaking that's jed that shows up a lot and yeah. just written with. Uh, do you know if that's related or I could look uh, in journey too. I'm not sure if they're related, but Joe and Je is 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 everywhere. That's the word that means says like he says with like of Joe or okay. I mean of Joe. Great. Um, I'm not sure if Saji is strictly from it. Um, not sure. Okay. Cool. No worries. Um, was that was that all I was doing? I forget. Or conversation kind of distracted me. I'm sorry. Two um, more. Two more. Okay. Great. So, Tuvaki Gen Ti Orine. Um, Orini. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure if it's correct. Like the Torini word. Um. I think in Sahidic you have it as uh, Torini, so just like Tau O. Uh, okay. because, but then oh, I believe Torini. when I looked it up, it was actually like a Greek word, but then they took the T and made it um, a, a definite article. Okay. But then So it might be pronounced without the Yoda, without the Yeah, but when you, when you bring it to Bahaira, you can't really just draw, add an E and make it and Bahairaize it. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, hmm. There's probably a different Bahaira word for it, or they just stuck to Torini. That would be my guess, but definitely Tiorini just sounds sounds weird. Okay, um, but Torini sounds more natural. Uh, Torini, yeah, it is Torini. It's just a Greek word. Torini, okay. Um, so uh, their uh, their servant, no, uh, or uh, Vaki. Was Vaki. Vaki oh, is right. Vaki. Vaki. Sorry, what is it? Uh, Vaki is the Bahari court for police. Oh, police. Okay. Oh, polis. It means city. Got right. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about the vocab thing. Um, so, and they're both feminine, so that's helpful. Um, so, okay. Uh, their city, um, and their city is in the um, town, or is in the uh, green day. What that is? The oh on on the in the mountain or uh, if i remember correctly torini is mountain district mountain district okay great and then there's one more all right give so me one more. uh great so hefe can miti and at polis mm -hmm. so uh his house um, is in Annette, is in the uh, sorry, vocab. Um, uh, let's say Miti. district of the city or no, Miti is midst, no. like in midst. the middle. Okay, of... okay, so it's kind of like a preposition here in the middle of um, the city. Uh, you don't have it, doesn't have to be, you can just say in the midst. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. So... Usually it's off something, but I think it can, it can send on its own. So it's kind of like a noun okay, here. Okay. Yeah. So in the midst of the city. Okay, great. Thank you. That's why I like the midst because you can just say he was in their midst. <gasps> okay. Okay, I'm not really sure what happened. Okay, survived. Uh, so yeah, if you can say he's in their midst, that's why I like just saying the midst because it can stand on its own. Uh, well, okay. you can say he's in their middle, but just midst sounds better. Okay, he's in the midst of the city. Oh. Oh, yes. Cool. His house is in the midst of the city. Great. Yes. Cool. All right, I think it's David's turn. Do you want to do four? All right. I wrote a uh, my father is a uh, carpenter. Yes. Yosef P. Hamshe. Okay. Pefshedri Wepe. His son is a um, priest. Mm -hmm. web ne nef uh, snail uh, some priests are his brothers or or would it, would it be better to say his priests are are or his brothers are priests yes uh so han web ne they have to come together and you just have the kind of like the subject coming after uh is one of the things it's it's mentioned a lot of, like you can switch them mm -hmm. uh, so it, it does it can work both ways uh and we know that, but if it was definite article so ni weep ne then there's only one way to do it so his bros and then because we have this coming together this is like a one package so it can be they are priest his brother so his brothers are priest um that's it but if it was if it was ni then you would have um uh, uh, sorry another way you can say is like some priests are his brothers so it can work both ways but it's likely it makes sense what you what you said his brothers are <laughs> uh say so some priests All right, give me one more. Meshach has high pay. Meshach is uh, her husband, or her husband is uh, Meshach. Um, Shak is an adverb. At, is it what? Is an adverb. I think that would be the name for the construction. Meshach means oh, perhaps. Uh, perhaps. Um, Perhaps he is her husband. Sorry, I think I was looking at thinking of another exercise in which I thought a word was, in fact, not a word, but a name. So, oh, uh, but also, you can't say if Mishak, you can't say Mishak is her husband. That would not work. Like if Mishak was a name, like let's say the word Misak, the name, you can't say that would not be, that would be Misak. He is her husband, or Misak is her husband. You would not say Misak is her husband. If you want to say Misak, Misak is her husband, you say Misak, paper is high. Okay. Sweet. Uh, all right, I have next on the list, Monica. Do you want to try to trans translate the next four, or maybe one or two? All right, Monica is not present. Or with us in the spirit. I am, but Victor keeps on saying cuckoo all the time, so I'll pass this time. All right. So that's her daughter. Also my niece. Um, okay. Uh, let's do the next one. Uh, back to Ben. Okay. Um, so. Check. Okay. We're good. Where's um? So, new high here in April. So, um. See, their their husbands are at the door. Yes. 
kind of a weird sentence, but okay. it's kind of odd, yeah, but it works grammatically at least. Uh, the mm -hmm. door. I guess there's a bachelorette, and the husbands are here, here to pick up their wives. I mean, that's possible. yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, a big big party or something. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Pesran Pe Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, her name oh, is Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's masculine because uh, on Peron because that's a masculine noun, right? Yes. Ron okay. is masculine, so it doesn't matter what comes after. Ron is always masculine. I do see people on some random PDFs online and say, what is your name? It would be like, Ashpe Tekran. Like, I'm like, no, first of all, it's completely wrong. Uh, okay. But yeah. Yes, name is masculine, so everything contributes to, and then it is whatever it is after. Great. Interesting. Uh, and then uh, Elizabeth um, Amal, or no, Elizabeth et Mal, Te and Johannes or mm -hmm. Johannes. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess this is dialogue. So in and actually Bohiric there's no ha sound. Oh okay. So it's kind it's of like Greek, Greek, it's Johannes or something. Yes. Okay, okay. assume that's a comma. Okay, great. Uh, so Elizabeth um see now uh, the mother is or Elizabeth is the mother of John. Of John. So Elizabeth, oh. comma, and then you comma. first. Oh, okay. Elizabeth, the mother of John. But no, that's not a full sentence, though. Yes. Um. Uh, what if I told you ignore this for now? Okay, so the mother is Elizabeth. So. The mother of John is Elizabeth. I'm trying to make no, it a full sentence with is. No, read. Uh, don't read any Johannes for now. Just read. Okay. And maybe just don't read Elizabeth. Just, what would this okay. be? Okay. So she is the mother. Yes. So okay. be, she is the mother. And then if you bring them back. Oh, so Elizabeth is vocative, but it's not really marked as vocative. So the comma, the punctuation kind of clues you in here with that. So she is the mother. So, okay. So Elizabeth, comma, she is the mother of John. Yes. That's it. Okay. So she's well, John's mother as mother. Yes. So you can say, or you can say, okay. and there's no... Hori in, uh, in Bahiric, the Bahiric name. Okay, got it. Cool. And in Sahidic, it does exist. So in Sahidic, actually, there's a lot of Hori that gets introduced in a lot of mm -hmm. words. Um, not sure if they're the probably originally there. Uh, Bahiric is included. But Bahiric has more aspiration with um, some of the like yes. pi and tie and stuff. So. Yes. So okay. let's say Sahidic has an aspiration here, and then Bahiric yeah. would have aspiration here. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's a different way of writing the aspiration. So uh, they even put them in different places. Okay. Like, Got it. Uh, the Bohiric people just said Ioannis, uh, but they would say et mau. Um, oh, I see. Say et mau, but they would say Johannes. I see. So the aspiration shows up in different places in different dialects, yeah. just so like the different spellings. The aspirated in different places. Okay. Well, that's important to take, keep track of. Thank you. Um, uh, I think two more for you. Okay, sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, Johannes. Uh, one more. One, one more. more, I think. Yeah, I, I think I was doing a lot. Okay. Uh, Johannes Pe Epsheli um, and Zacharias. Mm -hmm. Or Zacharias. Um, so, John is the son of, or literally the child. John is the son of Zachary. Yes, of yeah, Zechariah. Yes, of Zechariah. Zach. There Zach. Go. Sure. There we go. All right, David, you the next one. All right, Ron and uh, Yosef Anpe. Uh, Joseph. Uh, 
Joseph is not my name. Oh, oh, my name. Uh, let me let me let me check something. I hope I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me double check for negation. What happens? Uh, where is negation? I wonder if we things change in negation. It's the second time I see it. I don't I don't think I know it this way. Um, but let me double check. Oh, we saw about it. Um, pivot on pay. Pivot on subway. Okay. So yes, we have. If I want to say my my old unpaid by Romy. If I want to say this teacher is not, is not our teacher. So the unpaid. So uh, I think that's still fine. Okay. We then it doesn't mean we necessarily have to. It's more like this. By Romy Um So that's that's the case that we have with the with the name. We Paran Yosef Pe. So my name. It is Joseph. Okay. So you would say my name. It is not Joseph. And I don't see from the examples given here uh, evidence that you have to move the unpaid at the, bat at the bottom when you when you have when you have uh, negation. So you can say impensach unpaid pyromi. This this our teacher is this man. We our this man is not our. Sorry, this teacher is not our man. Oh, they have the other way around. Uh, that was mentioned previously as well. By Rome, when it's in the middle, I think it can mean two things, right? Yes, which is what we saw in. Uh... This man is our teacher. Um, can you flip it? I don't think it's common to flip it. Um, let me check an ending very quick. I I I I may very well have been incorrect. Um, I actually did this. I I I did this. Uh, these exercises before the last one, mm -hmm. just to kill time. And most of these I got very incorrect. So uh, I mean, sorry. What do you mean? So you may very well you may very well be right that it should be John is not my name versus wait what did I say did I say John is not my name I should say my name is not John um let me let me share this uh because I I I think Landon mentions it so if you go to just the Chrome tab just the whole window um Let's look at this together. Because I think before this lesson, I told you it's the most confusing thing, and it still confuses me till now. Uh, sometimes I go with it, it's like, ah, oh, I get the gist of it, but maybe together we can figure that out. Okay, is this the same? Yes, it will be five. Yes, okay, so this is length. This is the standard. This is the gold standard. Okay, we're done with this. Shirin Promi. Okay, so he's saying here, Usah Pe Payot, my father's teacher, or Payot Usah Pe. So if we have it as Indefinite, it can go both ways, which is what we saw as Hanwe Ne Nasneo, and then just move Nasneo in the beginning. So we, we, right? We had this with David, so this is fine. Okay, now let's let's read this part. If the subject and predicate are both definite, the normal preposition position of Petene is between them. So Peiromi Pepenzach. This man is our teacher. Location of subject. Can, it can only be made in a contextual basis. The real order of Peromi Pesachpe is an emphasis on the real subject. As for this man's art teacher. Uh, okay, so he's saying technically, when you have two definite and two are in between, it can mean anything. You can say, it is this man. So it's like, if you can say Peromi Pepensach, it can, can be, this man is our teacher. And if I'm reading it right, it also can mean it is this man, our teacher. So you took the peiromi pe, and I say pensah. Does that make sense based on what we're reading? Yeah, I think it makes sense. I also, uh, it sounds like one of the orders is more common when with a definite, uh, when both nouns are definite or subject and predicate are definite. He's and saying, I guess the, oh, go ahead, sorry. 
Yeah, he's saying the rare the rare order is having pay at the at, at the at the end. But if pay is in the middle, it can mean either. It can yes. mean Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Okay, so when we say pay, we know so yeah, if we say pay and the first one is indefinite, so the first line here, then we know the subject comes later. So we know that the predicate or what describes the subject is always the one just before the pay. So that we know for a fact. If they're if they're both definite, we don't know. Either or it can be literally is this man is our teacher, or it's he is our it's this man, our teacher. Uh, so it can work both ways. Okay. Am I am I reading it right? Yeah, that makes sense to me. All right. All right, let's jump to the next one. Uh, and then on always follows the pay. So you can always just hide the on, get an affirmative, and then just put the not, and then just make it uh, negation. And just negate it after. Uh, all right, so. If I remove the un, for this one would be paran yosif pe. Yeah, this one there is only one way to say it. And then you just negate it. So do you want to try now? So if I understand correctly, it would be my name. Well, do you want me to get rid of the on or just keep the on and just, just say it, just say it. Like the whole thing. Uh my name is not Joseph. Um, I will go with this. Okay. Um, My name it is not Joseph. Yes. Okay. Because Paran Yosef Pe, Yosef Pe is just complete thing on its own. So it is Joseph. So I say my name. It's not Joseph. Okay. Okay. So just to double check, uh, putting pet in the middle there would be Joseph is not my name. It would be more emphatic or it would have a different nuance or it would just be not correct. Let's do it. Let's do it with affirmative. So the options we have is Paran. And this is the rare one that was like, we just read. It's rare. So it would be Yosef, which is why we wanted to test it. That's the first option. Second option we have is Paran. Pay Yosef. This one, so the first one, the, the next next one is my it can be my name is Joseph or it is my name Joseph. So Joseph is my name. So you can read it backward as well. So you can either take a space in between or parampe Yosef. If we do this one, which was just mentioned as the rare one, it's my name, it is Joseph. So uh and what he says is like as of my name, it is Joseph. And I guess uh, a way to remember it being rare is it sounds a little awkward in English. Is that possible? Um, or it's just a little bit, There's it's more disjointed sounding, like my name, it is Joseph, or my name I, is I Joseph. I would say it's not rare, because if you have, let's say, Paran Pe, let's say we use like Epromi, like my name is the man, let's just say, if you say Paran Epromi Pe, this is rare, but if you say Paran Uromi Pe, this is very valid so my name is a man so it's only doesn't it only sounds weird if you're paying attention that it's definite but if it's indefinite that would be the proper way to say it so that's why i wouldn't say oh automatically i would deduce it just sounds weird just because if it was an ooh then it would be perfect right uh, that makes sense because the indefinite is uh normal either way yeah uh, yeah that would be the normal way just uromi pay that would be the word okay uh, so I would just say when I see indefinite, I usually have to see them in between. If it's not in between, something is off. It's not obvious. Okay. You're very much saying, as of my name, uh, it is yours. It is Joseph. Okay, great. Um, Thank you for explaining that. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, David, with uh, your translation. That's oh, perfect. And it keeps uh, many times. I'll just go and actually look it up. It's like I forget all the time, so it's fine. We're learning. Um. And then on 
always comes before pip, right? Did I get this right? You always have an un before pip. That's just the rule. Yeah, when you see the page, just put un, regardless of how rare or the construction, just be put un, it's unpay, that's it, you're done. Uh, so this one is pretty straightforward. Uh, all right, uh, David, next one. All right. Turn a hutton PRP. Hutton beside, okay. Uh, your guys' house is beside or or near or next to the um, the temple. Yes. And for Coptic, is there any sort of easy way to distinguish between? Um, so, because in English, when I hear something is next to something, I imagine it's like immediate, pretty much immediate. Whereas near is there's some le leeway. You know, near could mean like 15, 10 feet away, or mm -hmm. uh, how many meters that would be. What three? Um, I think a a, a good a uh, preposition to use that will bring the same meaning to English um, is it will be your house is by the temple. And by is ambiguous enough as hahten. Ambiguous and precise. Like it's in the, it's close, uh, not saying how close. Okay. Uh, but uh, by is a very, I would say, good, very good translation. I use near for translate, but I'm saying by just gives you the exact same um, ambiguity. Um, also oh. in Arabic, we say next door for next to can also mean close. So you say, oh, the gamba, the gamba, we like next to literally means next to or the side of, but it does mean close enough. Mm -hmm. Could you say nearby since it's a, it looks like a compound of yeah. two prepositions? Would that have the same nuance English to Coptic? Uh, or... So none of the words would literally means nearby because. 10, if it comes from anything, it just probably means head, hint. Um, once we get to the construction, maybe we can deconstruct destruct it better. Um, ha, if I remember, it's like the face. I don't remember. I'm not going to. This one, I'm, I'm unsure of. Uh, I just want to sit as near and not necessarily mean very close by, but it just means near, which can imply that it's close by, but doesn't really say. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a proposition for next to. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. All right. Give me one more. All right. Meshach Baidromi Be Bihamshe. Perhaps this, this man is um, the carpenter. Yes. You got all the sentences that had hamshi in them. I think it's funny. Uh, all right, give me one more. Paipe pi aspasmos em madreya. I assume that uh, that dash between the pi and pay is. Yes, it's mistake. Yeah. All right. Um. This I put down this, uh, the greeting of Mary, but yes. it yeah. is okay. Yeah. Uh, we also mentioned this in the liturgy, uh, Aspasmos. It's the um, greet one another or greet one another with the holy kiss. That's the it's called the Aspasmos Vatos or Aspasmos Adam. That would be the hymn that you would sing around mm -hmm. the, the greet one another. Mm -hmm. uh, the rejoice, what's it called? Yeah, rejoice, O Mary, uh, the servant and the mother. Uh, that's called Aspas, Aspasmos him. Because you say right after or before, uh, greet one another, the holy kiss.
I remember seeing it all the time, but now I can't think of it of uh, the time frame. Okay, status. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, I think you're done. Right? Yes. All right. Uh, ben, take us. Yeah, four more. Okay. Sure. Um, so, Maria U. Maria U. Um, mm -hmm. So, Maria um, is a virgin. Yes. Or Mary is a virgin. Yes. Um, so, yeah, you say U. that's the regular construction. If it was T. Parthenoste, that would be the rear construction. Right. And that would, if it were that, it would be Mary, she is a virgin. Yes. Right. Or okay. as of Mary, she is a virgin. Yes. As of, okay. That's, that's just how Slendon says it. It just want, he wants to tell you, he stops saying, Maria. And then he kind of like pause and then she's a virgin. I see. That's what the as of is doing with that translation. Yeah. Okay. Just making you pause for a bit. Got it. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, one, um, Mesh or Wam um, mm -hmm. Umish yeah. and teammate or teammate and T Agora. So, um, there is a, um, Mish. Okay. There is a, district. Oh, no. Just had uh, that. Mish is crowd or Mish. multitude. Multitude, okay. So there is a crowd. Yes, oh, etymologically, I think it's like a group of soldiers or a group of army. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this means. Uh, okay. Like and, a and, host or multitude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but more like, I wouldn't say hosts. M maybe it still uses hosts, but it just means like a lot of people. So okay. when he says Christ talks to the multitude, they would use the word mish. I see. Okay. And, uh, so like the masses. You, and yeah. Cool. And for your interest, this is what it would look like in Bohiric. Oh, great. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, so, one u mesh and t meet. Uh, let me. Or uh, meet. Let's do. Let's replace by n by chen for now. Chen, sure. And I'll explain after. Okay. So one u mesh chen t meet or mate or matey. Mm -hmm. Sorry. One u mesh chen t mate and mm -hmm. Tiagora or mm -hmm. Tiagora. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a crowd um, in the middle of mm -hmm. the market. Mm -hmm. So uh, in um Chen can be uh, abbreviated many times to N. So Umish right. Timiti. So it's like in the middle, not of the middle. Um, right. In Bahia, I am not sure, uh, but knowing that this book has some typos all the time, so I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't remember seeing it, but I don't read a lot of Bahia. Um, so Chen would just be your safer bet if you want to construct a sentence properly. Uh, but right. if you're doing Sahidic, N, short, thing, short yeah. for Chen, is, is, is very common. Right. Remember, it's in Sahidic, it's Hen, so it's an aspiration. So if you just lose the aspiration, it's just you end up with n. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, aspiration is different for that particular word. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Amon Hirene Fen Paima. So, so Irene is peace in Greek. So, Hirene is probably also peace here. Yes. Um, Amon is. Um, There is uh, there is not peace in this place. Yes. Maybe. And the way I like so to that's negation. It, the, yeah, the way I like to translate it is Emon literally means no. So if I say did you eat today and say just say Emon. So it just means no. So I also like mm -hmm. to say it's like no peace. And is I just make the translation a little bit more accurate and right. Like what you said is it's exactly the same. I see. It helps me see the words better. So it's no literally a piece or any piece yes in the no. midst of the market or in the midst of the market no no we're doing 21 we're doing this one 
Oh, well, I'm sorry. A long day at work. All guys. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Okay. Um, so in the in that the, this place, right? Yeah. Yes. And yeah. That's good. also in so Sahitic because Tchen can becomes an M or yeah. short for N or M. M Paima yeah. uh, just means here. So this mm -hmm. together just means here. Oh, right. Okay. So there's no piece here. Okay, it's like the at um, the at amal is. So it will be the different, the, the similar to amal, not at amal. At amal is w that which is here, that, that which right. is there. But if right. I want to just say there's no piece there, you would say amonirini amal. But if I want to say there's no piece here, I'll say amonirini chempema. Right. Uh, cool. Okay. Awesome. Got it. Thank you. No problem. Um, um, one more? Sure. Uh, Wan or Wan uh, Hanbaki and Tiori or Ordine. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, there is, or there, there are some servants um, in the mountain district. Voki will be servant. Voki. Okay. This is Voki. Baki. Oh right. Okay. That was uh, okay. So what would it be? Forgetting. Sorry. Baki will be city. Baki, city. Okay. There are some cities. It's plural though with Han, right? Han. Yes. Okay. Yes. There are some cities in the mountain district. Yes. Okay. Need to put those lookalike words side by side and memorize those. So great. <laughs> All right, David, take us to the finish line. Wait. Yeah, yeah that's a whole other exercise. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, do you guys want to pause here or do you want to keep going for another half an hour? I can keep on going. How about you, Ben? Whatever Ben I says. can keep going. All right, let's do it. All right. Misha Kwon Osach Hen Pizimi. Perhaps there is a teacher in the village. Perfect. Perhaps. Okay, awesome. Uh, next one. Nai ne ninobi. Um, these. These are our sins. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Next one. Hanoi uh, Nenai. This, these are our breads or bread. Yes, yes, and good ordering. These are oh, some bread. Hanoi uh, Kne. It's one thing. And then just the subject comes after. And that works because it cannot be these breads are the breads are these. Ah, uh, it can, but no. This is how we do it. Right. Uh, all right. Give me one from here. Nitimi et ensa beto. So these are not full sentences. So okay. don't worry about making them work. Uh, the villages uh, that are behind the um, the mountain. The yes, and then R. Good. Behind the mountain. All right. Uh, ben, give us the next four. Okay. Um, Paromi et u episcopos pe. So uh, the man who is a bishop. Who is? Or yeah. It, um, a bishop. Yeah. Yeah. And is there a difference between et and ete? Um, getting that. Et, it literally just depends on what comes after. Ete is just a longer version of. Oh, et is a short version of et. So usually okay. et will come attached to what comes after. Uh, okay. Ete kind of. So you can think of it the one the thing that comes after et is usually something that tends to be small. So like a preposition, or when we learn the verbs, 
I'll just be like the beginning of like the subject of a verb. Um, okay. If it's a pronoun. Um, like the whole word is small versus. Yeah, is a long one. It's kind of like a, you have a full phrase after. It doesn't okay. attach to a thing. So etensa okay. or etchen, it's like, which is or like, sorry, which is in. They're more of like, like it's a kind of compound. And a lot of times we see them written, to, written like next to each other. Um, okay. But ete will be like ete, and then you have a full sentence after. Uh, well, that's, full sentence that's after. actually kind of convenient to remember it because it's a slightly longer yeah. word, ete, yeah. and something longer comes after it. So yeah. that's going to be how I'll try to remember it. Cool. Thank it's you. It's like etchen or etensa work yeah. as a unit, but etu is not really a unit. We have another etu, which means which they. Um, okay. Yeah. And that would be um, not necessarily a manuscript, but like in this book, probably would be hyphenated as going together. Uh, right now, he, he he's putting space for you. But <clears throat> right, what cops left for us is they dropped the, they dropped the a. <clears throat> so you have et and et, which is telling us what to do. So okay. if, if I'm if I'm Oxford for Coptic, I would say yeah. if you see et attached to what comes after, if you see et, keep it separate. I see. Okay. Great. And I think this kind of goes okay. to the conversation we had last week in terms of what is and what isn't uh, uh, an actual prefix, because yeah. beforehand yeah. nothing was spaced where this would be sort of an indication this is most likely understood as some kind of prefix or is like the shortening because it just yeah. became part of the word. Yeah. Right. Like if I'm reading this, I would say, if I'm, what's it called, articulating, I would say, let's say the first word, let's say, this third will be naisaji ete pesas pasmos petne. But if I'm doing the fourth one, I'll say pimish etchen. Okay. So uh, it seems like it's a clue for someone reading without any spaces, um, as yeah. you would with when this was written. Yeah, probably, yeah that makes sense. That's cool. Cool. Great. Um, so uh, and, uh, just the interesting part is oh, good, for sorry. instruction for the saying the man who is a bishop, you would say. Uh, or even who is the bishop, you would say, ete pierscopos pe. So the man who, he is the bishop, is, you don't have to pause that much, but this is the construction you would use for the man who is a bishop came here. So, from me ete pierscopos pe, afi. Okay, let's do uh, Great. Um, sure. Uh, so, naisaji ete aspasmos ne mm -hmm. so the saji uh okay Spasmos. that's saji. the the greeting right yes yeah, um, such is words words right right like jed okay so these words or these are the words of no. the greeting of no no these are added extra words okay this or no, it's not, these not. are it's not these okay. Are. These are the words. There's no R. There will be nine ne. There's no ne. Oh, I see. Okay. These words. Mm -hmm. I see what you. Thank you for catching me on that. Uh, so these words. Mm -hmm. Um. Of uh, these words. Ete. What's ete? Ete, which are. Yes. Of sure. the. Uh, There's no R. Her. Which are. Uh, these words, which are uh, yes, um, her greeting. Yes, yes, that's so it. So these, okay. So say it again, like the whole thing. These words, which are her greeting. Yes. So it's an awkward construction. You can't really like match it straight to English, but this yeah. is just how we would say it. Okay. Cool. Um. All right. I'll give you one more. Sure. Um. Pimesh um, or Pimesh Edchen Yeklesia. Mm -hmm. So um, the crowd which is in the church. Yes. Which is in the church. Okay. Great. Uh, one more, I think. Okay. Um, so T. Hello. Mm -hmm. et, uh, so mm -hmm. um the uh the elder woman mm -hmm. yes who is a virgin yes
And that's why I would go for Parthenos, probably a virgin, not like a young woman, just because like the elder is a virgin. Um, cool. All right. Uh, Dave, are you taking us to finish line? Finish line minus one. Do you want me to do the last five or? Uh, just do all. Okay. Naimoit echen teodrene orine. The uh, these roads which are in the uh, hill country or or mountain district. Mm -hmm. And then ni ejo et gentimet emepiom. It's not. It's not timet. Timeti. Okay. Sorry. Uh, the ships which are in the midst of the sea. Yes. Is mm -hmm. that a is that a comment between the Eta and Christos? The what? Is that a comma I can see on the between P Christos and Eta for the next yeah. one? Uh yeah, it's a comma. Okay. Pi Christos et a pai pe pensoter. Probably just say Christ, big C. Uh, he. He is. He's the. He's our savior. He is who is our savior. Uh, close. Let me find the exact wordings. Etepaipe is just, um, it just, I think, like it's it's an idiom. You use it as is. I wonder if I can see it. Oh, probably in the previous lesson. Etepaipe, like that which is. Uh, that which is, okay. That which is. That would be the, the word I think they're using here. That which is, or that who, or in this case. That, 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 yeah, that, that who is. Our our savior, yeah, that makes or, sense. Or uh, that like I kind of like I E or like I mean, not I E. We like I mean, kind of. So that which is or he who is our savior. So he just, who is our savior. Okay. That which is just take the easier meaning, which is our savior. So I think yeah, I think we said it last time. It's like et. Phi, actually, or thai, or even nai, then pe, or te, or ne. And we remember we said, we said this, so we, this, and then ete, what is it, like, which, or who, or actually, this, or those. And then this, so we like, is, or are. So this, who is, or those who are or this which are just it's just like an interruption between to explain something in english you probably do like a dash so christ mm -hmm. dash our savior and then keep going uh has come of e of soti that's how you probably use it okay so basically just that which i mean and then keep going all right all right next one Pirpe at a pay 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 emep choice the uh the temple that which is the the home of our lord or house of our lord okay by jom at a pay pay be Evangelion, uh, this book that which is our that which is the gospel. Yes, or good news if you want to go with what I believe the original meaning of you. Yeah, probably for Coptic, it could be, be good news. Uh, probably be good news. Good news, yeah. Um, 
Okay, uh, let me, one second. All right, um, okay, we're done with the exercises. Next one is probably as long, it's also 40 questions. Uh, but we are gonna do something that is also quite similar, uh, plus uh, uh, plus something a little bit new, and we'll carry on our conversation from today. Um, if you give me one second. So the first thing we have is the dependent person pronouns, uh, just the word that means uh, you, he, she, and this is what it's like in Coptic. Uh, you will notice that it has the very, oh, sorry, one second. Uh, that it has a very similar uh, ending to what we've seen so far. Uh, one second, let me just send this. Uh, to what we've seen so far for demonstrative, demonstrative pronouns, uh, sorry. The possessive, so pek, pe, pef, pes, ten, which I have it next to it. So it's very similar. You see anok, plural is anon, um, not sure where it came from. And then everything else has the prefix entho, and then you go on with the regular suffixes that you know of. So enthok, just like for you, entho, you always miss something for entho, enthof, enthos. Uh, for us, it would be, be anon, which is the plural of, uh, of anok. And for your, it would be like that, a 10, or basically a tho 10. And then finally, in tho. Um, let me double check something that might be of interest for Ben. Um, this is common between Sahidic and Bohairic, a common difference between them, uh, which is, let me double click. Yes, found it. Uh, so remember, in Sahidic, you probably have all this theta, will be a tau, so be entok. But also you have this omega. I don't know if you're into linguistic. I'm not sure where it came from. This will actually be in tau in Sahid in Sahid. So the theta becomes a tau, very common. But also a lot of things like ero. Um, in so it's in Bohairic you would have something like ero. So like to them in Sahidic it would be ero. Uh, so there's a little bit of elongation. Well, we think that will make it just a longer o. So there's a lot of difference that come from in tho, but in, in, in Sahidic it's in tho, and then ero, ero. Do you That's... think that represented a different sound uh, or just a different way of writing the same sound in different places? I would not think it's the same sound um, okay. it's written differently. Uh, from, what, from what I know about Coptic, it's very precise in how it is like to describe things. If it really wants to be short, it will be short. Mm -hmm. uh, they probably just have it, have, so, if you think the omega and the omicron uh, are different quality, then just different yep. sounds. If you think they are different, like it's the quant, like the elongation, then it'll be ento mm -hmm. and intho. Um, and we see a lot of places, uh, place like to for mountain and then to in Sahidic. Right. Um, do that as you wish. I am not sure why there's a difference, but it's one of the common differences you would see. Uh, no, yeah, it's not use it's not useful information if you're just doing Bahiric, but if you're interested yeah. in dialects, this would definitely be different. That's cool. All right. Um, so you know you will get the hang the the hang of them very easily. It's just no need to know anok and entho, and then everything else just follows. Uh so pretty simple. Uh once you once you know these two. Um and then the way you use them is you just treat them like any other subject, like you just replace it and put your name or put a promi and, and you're good. Um, so they do, 
usually follow peteni. So if I want to say I am a man, I would say anok pe piromi or romi. If I say I am a woman, I would say anok te um, tishimi. So that's what's peteni and then anone something. We are something. So that's that, that's that's normal. Uh, however, if you also always have pe pe on its own, just like we saw, you remember we said ushimite she is a woman or upartenoste it's a, it's a, what's it called upartenoste it's a virgin um uromipe it's a man so or even you can say like pe it's her husband or he's her husband so basically the it's or something it's actually the same thing when you do it with the pronoun so if you say anokpe even if you're feminine or a good example like enthosne or anonpe sorry pe enthospe it usually just means it is something so if I if I want to say entospe ti parthenos, then it means it is her, the the virgin, not she is the virgin. So just to write it down, so you say enthos, if you say pe or te, then ti parthenos. So enthos pe ti parthenos, it will be she, it is. Her, the it is her the the Parthenos the virgin. If you say Enthoste, she's the she's the virgin. So something very it's very confusing when you first encounter it if you don't remember the rules, which is one of the reasons I need to go look back many times. Uh, but remember that pe can mean something different. Um, also, you will see that anok if you say anok pe u wini so. It can think it means I am a light, but it's like it is I, the light. Uh, and we're going to see some examples. But just remember when you see pe and it doesn't agree, that's actually fine. Just have a different meaning. Um, more example or oh, emphasis. So, entho pe tishuri. So, here's an example it is you, the sensor. Uh, anon pe. So, it is us, it is we, the temple of God. Entho ten pe. So be like, it is y'all, the light of the world. Okay. Uh, next part is like you just read like any subject, like I am, you are, he, she is. Very simple. In Tok Pepe Christus, you are Christ. Uh, it can mean it is you, the Christ, uh, but in this place we can't tell. But if you ask in Tote, it's Mao and Pen Sotir, that means that can only be you are the mother of our Savior. Cool. Um, one more kind of rule is if you have the first and second person, you don't have to memorize any of them. So I actually never memorize them, but when you see them, you just know them. It's like, oh, I remember why it doesn't exist. Because especially that we're not translating from English. Uh, so you kind of don't have to have them present, but once you see them, you'll be like, oh, why is not there? Oh, I remember the rules. So the rule is if you have the first and second person, so you or I or we, and you have an indefinite, you don't have to have petene in between. So you would say enthoten han mathetis or enthok uhamshe or anok uangelos. So that's it. If you want to say I am an in I am the angel, I would say anok pe piangelos. If I want to say I'm an angel, I would say anok uangelos. If I say if I which means actually if I see anok pe uangelos. It just tells me, I would translate this as it is I, an angel. Back to the first rule, because it's not common to see it. You can, but it's not common, or you shouldn't. Uh, yeah, this lesson will take a little bit of reading. Um, but again, the petene takes some reading, takes some confusion. I still have to go back, actually check every now and then. But it eventually will just sound fine. And it will click, especially when you read it, like, oh, I remember that rule, kind of something like that. Uh, and in most part, if you actually mess up the translation, you can't mess up by much. It, you get the same meaning. Um, all right, so that's what that's what the pronouns. Any question about it? Sorry, I have a quick question about um, the plural pronouns. Do they yeah. take ne? Yes. Um, okay. So yeah, I have ne. If I want to say we are so this is this because it means you y'all it is y'all not you but it, yes i can say anon 
anon ne a nilaus a MP Christos. We are the people of Christ. So that's perfectly common. Great, thanks. Um, all right, the next part is the interrogation. Um, basically, just interrogative pronouns. Uh, this book has a little bit way more. We'll stick to the first three, just because this is what Landon has. Um, the rest, you can know them. Um, but I don't think you even see them in an exercise, and if you do, just ignore them for now. Um, that's the three we're going to look at is Nim. It means who. Um, if you know any Arabic, um, not that it matters. It just actually, if you switch the order, uh, you get the Egyptian. This is the Egyptian word for who. They just have it flipped, uh, specifically in Egyptian. Uh, in proper in Arabic, you actually drop the vowel. Uh, but in Egyptian, you just say the opposite, mean. But in Coptic, just say nim. Nim means who. And if you want to tell someone, what is your name or what's your name, you don't say, what is your name? You actually say, who is your name? You say, nim pe pekran. Um, you see a lot of print in PDF saying, what is your name? Learn some Coptic. What is your name? Ash pekran. It's not. It's nim pe pekran. It's a proper Coptic way of saying it. Um, and it can tell us a little bit more on how they they actually understood names. Uh, you don't name them random things. You usually name them after something. So it's like, who is your name? Like, who are you supposed to represent? And you can see that in English, like uh, Jefferson, Johnson, uh, Smith. Usually the name indicate who you, what your work is, what you're doing, who your, who your family comes from. Johnson is basically John, John's son. Um, so name was taken less lightly than we do now. Um, we'll start with who quickly. U just means what, or just something unknown. Um, you don't know what that is, you say U. Uh, in Egyptian, actually, you use the word E, and this is very Egyptian, not in Arabic, just E, and in Coptic, just U. Um, Ash also means what, but it's closer to which. So you specify something that you know it, the answer beforehand is, is one of many. So which one is my pen or what is what is my homework? You know, it's either A, B, C. So you say Ash, but it's like, what is this? They'll say U. So Ash, you're gonna see from the example, the examples are pretty good at using real words. Um, like three sentences, Ash tends to be more towards the which. It still means who, it means what, but more towards, it's not just open. U is like, you don't know what you're talking about. It's like, it's, it's like, uh, you can see the example, so I can't think of anything now. But it just means what? Uh, completely unknown. Aj has a little bit of known answer. Or the answer is not a surprise. Um, more to the book, but I don't have to worry much about them. It's the U, just means why. Um, many languages, including French, uh, the one you say, there's no word for why. I should say pourquoi, for what, or because of what. In Coptic, it's exactly the same. Etve, we learned it means for or because of. And then who is what? So because of what? Which means why? Um, also, in, actually, in, in proper Arabic, like in, you say the word for why is uh, is to what or like for what? Uh, next one is aho. This means kind of what's up with you or like what's going on with you. So it only comes. It, ha, it needs to have a suffix. So what's up with him or what's wrong with him or like what's with him? Um, that would be the aho. Thon is where and it now. You, just, you can read read them, but you don't have to worry about them for now. Um, all right. Interrogation, if you want to make sim simple questions, uh, you just add P to them. So let's just look at the notes first. So if you want to say, who is this? You just say, Nimpe. Remember, there's no question marks. So if you want to say, if I want to say, it's a man, you just say, Uromipe. So it is a man. So if you want to say, it is who, you just say nimpe. It's exact same construction as you have for it is a man. Um, it, he, is our, he is our teacher. So basically, if you say nimpe, it's like he is who. Uh, there's no question mark in Coptic. There's, there's no question marks back then. You don't change things around the sentence to make it work for interrogation. You just use replace what is unknown to you and you put nim. So the reason that happened nim and ash in the beginning. Uh, it's just a coincidence that this is how we construct Coptic. And actually, if you remove Nim or Ash or U or anything, you just replace it by your answer. So Nim Pe, uh, Payot Pe, Ash Pe, um, Pijon Pe. So the book, or it, it's the book. 
Nim pe pai romi. Who is this man? So say pensach pe pai romi or pai romi pe pensach. Uh, you moved into the beginning just because actually to make the construction fit. Uh, but you actually can't keep it at the end. So so this is for this. And then here you say, Ashpefai, this is what, or it is what this, just like we saw the construction area earlier. If you like to think of it as English, like you just put what and who in the beginning and what and in the beginning, you can, uh, but this will eventually be broken later. So you can say, Utethai, what is this? It's basically, what is this like as a full construction sentence or this is what um because u is actually replacing a word it can actually take an indefinite article so you can say u pay so this first u so this first time i saw this it confused me so if you're confused you're fine so this is the indefinite the first one and this is the what so u pay so it's like a what this, or it is a what. So we can see it better in plural. Hanune. So if you say, let's say, uhiomi, uh, sorry, hanhiomi ne. So they are women. You can say, uh, some, they are somewhat, right? You see, the, you see the thing? Is it confusing? Or So let me write it down. So if you want to say, if I want to say, they are these, like it's women, or like they are women, you say, Han, Han, Hiyome, Ne. It just means it's women or they're women, right? They're women. So I don't know what, what are these. So they're what? They're women. So they are women. It would be they are women is Han, Hiyome, Ne. So if I want to say they're what? Again, Coptic just puts, replaces the word that you're not sure of and just puts the word that you want. So they're what? You just say han, u, ne. It looks like you're just moving around, but you're just, you're just replacing the word that you want and just put u instead of it. Yeah, this makes sense. It's kind of like English where if somebody says something, you don't know to say a what? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So a what? Yes. Yeah, it's like a what? A cow. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why it's a cow. It makes sense too, because the uh, indefinite article is always a um, prefix. So yes. the what has to go after it, I guess, with that. Yes. So, um, so cool. the, the takeaway from this, I want you to think, is like Coptic doesn't need to move things around to make a sentence. And you're going to see some example where when um, the example when Pilate says, Are you the Christ? He just said, You are the Christ. And you just need to know that this is the question. They're just like, oh, you're you're the Christ? It uses this tone. They were tone based and like, are you the Christ? There's no, because reading this can mean either a sentence or, or a question, which would be very confusing theologically. Is Pilate saying you are the Christ or are you the Christ? But they just had no way around it. There, there is no movement around it. So they just hope that your priest when, or the reader would know that this is a question. Uh, just, but it has double, a question, but in the sentence on its own, it can literally be a statement or a question. Just to double check why that's confusing. Is that because um, those nouns are both definite? So, no, uh, there is no concept of moving words around to mean a question. So, if you want to say, "Are you the Christ?" I had to move "r" and "you" together. I have to say, "Are you?" Right. The statement "you are." In Coptic, you don't move things around. You say, "You're the Christ." And there's not a question particle that would normally go in that sentence. It um, would just... And Egyptian has maintained this, like Egyptian Arabic. It, it has maintained it. You just say, you're the Christ. It maintains the tone. Uh, there is no, you don't move things around. And there is no even words that you can add in Egyptian Arabic or in Coptic. Uh, in Arabic there is, but not in Egyptian or in, in Coptic. What about for speech? So uh, it's obviously if it's in a written text, the tone is lost, but or the act, the pitch accent or whatever is yeah. lost. Yeah. But in speech, uh, you probably would be a difference if you're asking a question. So my best guess is probably they would have to say, and Pilate asked, then they'll be clear. Uh, you would have to go with this. You, you just can the, the sentence would not change things for you. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. So the next part is like saying, who are you? You don't again. You don't move things around. It's just you are who. So enthoknim. That's it. Enthok. Who? 
So who, and then you remember there's no verb to, verb are, verb to be. So who are you will be like, you are who. There's no, you don't change things around. So you are who, there's no are, so it's you who. Sounds fun. Um, Enthoknim, uh, still maintain in Egyptian, actually in spoken Egyptian, rather than in Arabic. Um, same thing, you can say enthoku, uh, you are a what? Um, so again, this is the indefinite. And this is the what? You are a what? Uh, I am an angel. Um, okay. Uh, next part is emphasis. Uh, you can say still maintain Egyptian actually. If you want to say who me, who am I? You know, like this pause in Coptic is like Anuk Nim Anuk. I am who I am. Not a Jehovah part. Uh, it's like me, who am I? Uh, so you say Anuk, Nim Anuk. Um, I don't know if we, did I miss it? Um, you, I probably did. You can use the pronouns as subject and as object. So you can say, oh, I mean, we did it. When you say it is us, you can say Anon Ne. So you can say, you can actually say Pilaus Pe Anon. The people are us or the people uh, is so the people is or is us so you can use the anok or anon or actually or any of them as also as objects not just as as subjects uh, so they work both ways on both sides so you say anok nim alok it's like saying me who am i who is me uh, so it does work both ways so uh, could you say anok pe anok would that be i am or anok like yeah Would that uh, work or like, I, am, I am who i am versus I am who, who am i Would we can look all together but it does so let's try it. Anuk, i'm sure it's in the bible with that uh, translation chapter Anuk, so that would be i am i am me that would be the i am me okay uh it, it could be i am who i am probably not who because if you want to say who then then you have to put nim or it uh at least for which uh, sorry, you wouldn't use nim. Sorry, what am I saying? You would use ete. Uh, anok ete. Ete anok. Anok pe? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, I, I want to make one of them an obvious statement and one of them an obvious question, but it sounds like <laughs> there are cases where it could be either. So, yeah. So, okay. you wouldn't say who. You don't use nim for the same way you would use who as that or which. You don't say. I am who I am would not use nim. It would use ete or et. Right. And you wouldn't expect that in a question. Yes, so you would use it as a question. You. Yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, Thank you. There's no whom. Also, there's no whom and there's no whose. So if you want to say, if you, if I tell you English no longer has whom or whose, but say the proper way you say, rather than say whose son, you say the son of who. So the son of whom, it will be pshiri and nim. So the son of who. Uh, also, for whom you were with whom uh, you were with who? So I would say, Eknem, Nem, and then Nem who would be Nem Nim. So if I say with who, I would say Nem Nim. It means with who, which in English you probably say whom. Uh, but there's no who's or whom, just put who where, where it matches. Um, Aho, oh, forget about it for now. Uh, vocab is a little bit new. I actually have to memorize it because it's a bit different than Sahitic. And that's it. We are done after one hour and 40 minutes. That was long. Um, nice. Hopefully, next time it's not as, as long, but fine. If things ever change to you, just let me message me and we can shorten it if you need to. All right. Uh, any questions? Today was fun. We covered a lot of fun things. Any question? Today was great. Thank you. All right. Awesome. I will stop the recording. I think this is where I click on the stop the recording. Ah, uh, oh, there's a button. Stop recording.